I remade every mob into smiling critters from Poppy Playtime in Minecraft. I'm going to start by turning this ocelot into the lovable catnap. Let's start by painting the whole thing purple. Then take the ocelot ears and expand them into these large and pointy cat ears. Now let's start working on the face and these terrifying beady white eyes. And then this horrifying mouth. No one is that happy. This is getting creepy. We're making the toy version of Catnap 2. So let's make it a short little body. Here are some stubby little arms and hands, you know, for hugs. And you can't forget Catnap's iconic dark purple gloves. He'll also need these distinct eyebrows. Next up, I'm going to add this crescent moon to the body. Catnap also has this really long tail that I decided to make like this. And after a little more texturing here and there, I think Catnap is ready to go. Let's see him in Minecraft. And Catnap is here. Ooh, those eyes, absolutely devastating. Of course, Catnap also was given a very unique ability, the ability to bore things to death. Well, technically to put things to sleep. Let's sacrifice some cows. Look at those udders go. And then let's go over here and just smack Catnap. Bam, and there goes the sleep powder or the dust of death. <laughs> Actually, the cows didn't go to sleep. They did perish, unfortunately. I don't know why that happened. You guys were supposed to just go to sleep. I'm very, very, very sorry. There goes the sleep juice. Oh, look, they are going to sleep. And then, unfortunately, they're all dying. We may have made catnap just a tad bit too powerful. Sometimes I do tend to get a little bit ahead of myself. Next up is Bobby Bear Hug, and we're gonna make her using a mushroom. I started by using these cow heads to make a better bear head shape. You know the drill. We need to give it those creepy eyes and also the very creepy mouth. Bobby Bear Hug has the same eyebrows, but we're gonna raise up one of them. We'll need to make the body and legs. Right now, it kind of looks like a creeper. We need to fix that. That is much better. We'll add some big old toes and recolor the body to make it look like this. And we've got to add a heart pendant that will go on the front. And some final texturing should finalize this one. And here we have Bobby Bear Hug. Let's see how she looks in game. And enter Bobby Bear Hug. Alakazam! Beautiful. Oh, that's the wrong side. Beautiful backside, though. Let's shift around the front. Oh my gosh, those eyes. That smile. Just the way it's supposed to be. Let's plop down a little cow hide over here. Udders. Plop down another cow hide over here. No udders. And now I am going to sacrifice myself in order to display the capabilities of Bobby Bear Hug. So we've got ourselves in the way for the sake of science. And now Bobby Bear Hug will make his way towards any living meat. In this case, one of our cows. And the cow turns dangerous and is now going to try and chase me down and absolutely wreck me. That is one vicious mind-controlled cow. Oh, I ran in the water. Let me go this way. Yes, we've lost him. No, we haven't. We have not lost him. He is right behind us. Finish the fist fight. Come out on top. Just keep the punches. We got it. The Bear Hug has been hugged to death. Dun, dun, dun. Now, we're gonna take a cow and turn it into Bubba Bubba Fan. We'll start by getting rid of the cow body, of course, and turn the whole head blue. Stretch it out a bit, add some giant elephant ears, and now we're back at it with those terrifying eyes. I don't think I'm ever gonna get comfortable making these. Bubba is going to need to have an impressive trunk, and oh yeah, just as scary as the rest of them. Now let's start working on that toy elephant body. Here are some fingers, and there are some legs. The pen on this one will be this little light bulb. It signifies that he is full of great ideas. I doubt it. I'm also giving him his tail with a bit of fluff on the end. And now I think Bubba Bubba Fint is complete. Let's just find out if it really is complete in Minecraft. Now I've got to be careful because I could easily mix up our Hubba Bubba Bubba Fint eggs and our regular cow eggs. So keep my eyes very sharp. Oops, I did not mean to hit you. I'm so sorry, Bubba Fint. I I am sorry. Please don't be angry at me. Your tail looks great. Your ears are massive. They look just like an elephant would if it was absolutely terrifying and horrific looking. And all these smiling critters should be roughly the same size. Bubba Fint so far is the biggest, which makes sense because you're supposed to be an elephant. And Bubba Fint can turn diamonds into larger diamond things. I hid some diamonds to show you what I mean. Boom, got one. Let's 
take our diamond over to Boba Finn and do a trade. He takes it and works on it and gives us back a diamond hoe. Bam, 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 bam. I actually wanted something else. Hold on. I have another diamond. Trade it in. He works on it. Diamond pants. These look sweet. Next up, let's turn this sheep into crafty corn. And no, I don't mean my friend crafty, though crafty as a unicorn, that would be hilarious. The sheep head isn't quite right, so I'm going to use it to make a new unicorn head. I added some ears and yes, those eyes again. Crafty corn has a very full head of blue hair, which I'll offset with the nightmare looking mouth. Crafty corn is a unicorn, so let's give it a horn. I just want to point out here how funny crafty corn looks with sheep limbs. I'm tempted to just stop right now, but I have to keep going. Crafty corn also has this adorable rainbow flower flower pendant. Then after adding the tail, Crafty Corn looks flawless. Let's check him out in game. We've got him down right in the desert. This rainbow unicorn equally as creepy as everybody else. The body turned out a tad bit snowman-like. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. From the back, it looks better. From the front, just didn't quite come out how I wanted. But the unicorn poker, amazing. Let's plop down some pillagers up here. Boom, 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 boom. The army of pillagers has been entered into the world and you, my friends, are the sacrifice. And look, Crafty Corn already is getting busy down here, firing off those rainbow projectiles randomly in so many directions. Crafty Corn has no aim whatsoever. If one of these manages to hit a pillager, there we go. It turns them into a random wool block. But if my calculations are correct, even though we don't have a diamond sword with enough hits, we should be able to. Got it. Finally, Crafty Corn Horn. We've obtained it. And now we can blast rainbow anywhere in the world we want. Except when we blast rainbow, we can actually target it. Sign our buddy. Ready to be rainbowfied. Oh my gosh. I missed. I actually missed. And then you just randomly turn into a block next to me? This device is malfunctioning on us, folks. We need to get rid of it, and quickly. Next, we're going to turn this rabbit into Hoppy Hopscotch, because that makes sense. I had to start by making a better shaped head for the rabbit, then use those little rabbit ears and make them fit Hoppy quite a bit better. I even added a little bit of bend to them to make them feel more organic. Maybe I won't say these eyes are scary. Then again, who am I kidding? Yes, I will. Here is the classic smiling critter's face. And do the same thing as usual for the hands and also the same thing as usual for the legs. Hoppy also has a little lightning bolt for a pendant. I added a little bit more texture all around the body of the bunny, a little bit on the arms, some more on the gloves. And now Hoppy Hopscotch is looking hoppity. Did that even make sense? Let's see what he looks like in game. Let's plop Hoppy Hopscotch down next to a tree. Then we'll be able to see if our hoppity hippity hop boy can jump higher than the tallest tree in Minecraft. It's all going to come down to his toes, which so far look to be working well. But the real dead giveaway is going to be his attack. Let's plop it. Oh, no, a cow is not going to work. Oh, maybe it will work. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Let's put down a pillar instead for a better view up into the sky down dang he shifted at the last moment and look at him hop like he's happy that's so sadistic we're gonna stay on top of him hop it in sync couple more hoppity wax it's a combination he's got so much health and he's so frequently dodging me but we come out on top we got the hippity hoppity ears and now if we've got pillagers and we hippity hop our way up let's see if it goes down Ooh, it doesn't target him can we move it to right on top of him oh i've got no control hop Hoppity Hopscotch still has control over us. I'm getting real tired of saying hippity hoppity. Goodness. Well, at least we could use the ears to escape if we need. That's kind of convenient. You will never guess what we're going to turn this chicken into. The kicking chicken. You guessed it, didn't you? We'll start by deforming this chicken head. Ew, that looks awful. But don't worry, I'll color it all yellow to cover up the mess. Guess what's next? Everybody's favorite, the scary smiling critter's face. And I'll top it off with this little orange nose. He also has these three long locks of hair and some very smug eyebrows. We'll give it these orange feet and this red star pendant. This T-posing chicken looks very intimidating right now. I still need to shade it in a bit, but now Kickin' Chicken is looking quite cool. But let's see how Kickin' Chicken looks in Minecraft. Kickin' Chicken is flapping his way. He looks like he's about to take off and those crazy eyebrows are nice. And those eyes still creepy. He has finally stopped flapping. Those wings though, we did trim them down 
down so he can't take off. But that hair coming off the back and that tail, he is not a normal boy. He is a magnificent speed racer. But in order for us to get Kickity, oh my goodness, Hoppity is stuck in my brain. In order for us to get Kicking Chicken off to the races, we're gonna have to cause some serious damage. And all I have is, I need to do something. A couple trades later, we finally got our diamond sword. And now I can cause some serious damage to our Kicking Chicken and get him to get to the races. Come on, buddy, you move. Look at that. He goes down. He's twice as fast. There he goes. Look at him move. Oh, he's very fast now. He's gonna be hard to catch. There we go. Got him. He's back again. Even faster, though. Bam. Ooh! Now he's fast. The steam is even coming off of him. Well, let's find out if he can survive again. Oh, and he's gone for good. Just like usual. At the end of the day, we come out on top. Though I feel like I should give you a rating for your sacrifice. Eight out of ten. I think that's where your remains were. Now we're going to turn this pig into Picky Piggy. Picky Piggity. Piggy Picky Piggy Piggity. I like that name. Sounds like I'm beatboxing. <clears throat> Enough of that. Let's get rid of the pig body and paint the whole thing this eye blinding pink. Fill out the eyes and add on this plump pig nose. And of course, I don't forget the mouth either. I copied the top part of the head to make it into these long pig ears. Hey, whoa there. You like my eyebrows? This is so dumb. Get back to work. Turn it into a terrifying creeper pig creation for just a second. Fix it all and it is starting to actually look like Picky Piggy. I just need to add a little swirly tail on the back and do a bit of texturing here and there. And don't think I would leave off the apple pendant either. As an added touch, I even let him hold an apple with a bite taken out of it. So far, I'm really happy with this one. We gotta check it out in Minecraft. Let's find out just how Picky Picky Piggy is. <laughs> I almost tongue twisted myself. That was close. Look at this cute guy. The little pigtail is the cutest part. And I think though it's tiny, it actually turned out to be the best of everything. Our picky piggy will go and leave us candy. It sounds way creepier once I said it out loud. It's apples. All right, picky piggy will leave us fruit. Outside of the fact that it has a bite taken out of it. What a tasty apple. I would love to have some given how hungry I am. And I'll take a bite out of this apple. And it whips me right out of creative mode. It puts me into survival mode. And now I'm getting sicker and sicker and the world is turning. Oh my gosh, save me please, little chicken. No, don't turn away from me. You're not gonna do anything, are you? We need to find water. I'm not gonna make it to the water. I got, oh my, no! And those Enderman sounds were just bleeding my ears. I warned you all, Picky Piggy is not to be messed with, not at all. Now, I want to turn this wolf into dog day. The coolest smiling critter in the bunch. If you try to convince me otherwise, you're wrong. Take the wolf head and turn it orange. Then I'll add these two long red pieces, which will become the ears. And here we go again, the scary face. This might be the scariest one. I formed the body to look like this a bit. I think he might be meditating. Paint the shoes and gloves, both of them all red, and give him a sun pendant on his chest. Then I did a little bit more texturing all over Dog Day, and he is looking great. But let's see if he looks great in game. Dog Day! Day has joined us and for some reason the structure on dog day's face makes it look slightly less creepy than the others which i'm so so very thankful for the ears are the dog giveaway these hanging loose all the way down the side these are some very very long ears and our dog day is one of the few dogs that loves the water looks like he's trying to get out actually hold on one second i'll help you you can do it you can't do it all right you can't do it very cute but less agile than the normal dog oh but look who we have here we found catnip 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 is dog day oh where did he go uh-oh we've lost track of dog day oh wait he made it out oh no the cat got up to us catnip is going after dog day defend yourself do something don't look at me stand up on your own two legs i mean stand up on your own four paws no i feel so bad dog day do something why aren't you doing anything you're just running oh my gosh we got the dog day's necklace can we put this thing on <gasps> we can we can change it out for our diamond chest plate oh no it made catnap dangerous and angry and really furious at us. I'll get you. No, I should have done that. I should have done that. I can come out on top. I can come out on top. I can. I should. I must. We came out on it. Hop. We're the victor, the creator, and the destroyer. I think catnap and dog day both deserve a nine out of 10 for their sacrifice. Let's make poppy playtime right off the bat. Starting with a witch. Base colors, blue, red, white. And we have to make her doll sized. Drink. Shoulder poof. Grab this hat. 
Leave that, make it look real curly. Hair transplant and one front curl. Scoop the pony. Though Poppy Playtime is a real girl, nope. she has these massive eyes and rosy cheeks. <laughs> Layer her dress and those tiny feet. And here we've got it. Poppy Playtime in Minecraft. The hair I think came out fantastic. Look at those rosy cheeks, right? Though I am curious about one thing. What is that boss bar doing at the top of my screen? Uh, what? Look at that purple particle. Oh my gosh. Here, what's going to happen if I just put a pillar? Whoa. <laughs> Do it again. What? Oh, wait, she just trapped this pillager in a case. Oh, my word. Poppy, we're going to have to test your innocence. Here you go. There's a villager. No. That's not good. All right, solution time. I got to get back to block bench. This might not work well at all, but we're going to make this Enderman huggy wuggy. And I hope he helps us. Blue fur, red lips, big <laughs> smile. Open up a few sharp teeth. And we have to get the brain just right. Vision, massive pupils. Yellow feet, feet what? thumbs, creepy hands, other creepy oh! hands. Huggy Wuggy in Minecraft. This could go poorly. But look at those lanky arms. And those legs. The head, honestly, quite perfect. Ew, teeth. Don't eat me. But we'll just give you something to munch on right here. Oh, wait, no, he's literally chewing him up. Ooh, you can see bits coming off of him. I'm not scared. Guts and organs. It's constantly pouring out. I just have to confirm. What happens if I put a villager there? Oh, boy. Gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. Run for your life. Apparently, I made a little mistake with Huggy Wuggy too. I better get back to Block Bench and find something that can take down Poppy. Now for Kissy Missy from a Wither Skeleton. No. Pink, pink, pink. Squeeze. Dislocate. Stretch it out. Something like eight foot arms. Fur density. Large lips. Eyeballs. Now open up some brain space. Yellow hand and the classic yellow toes. Okay, this should be the good side. Kissy Missy. And she looks pretty much exactly like Huggy Wuggy. Minus the bank, of course. And the lack of deadly needle teeth. Exactly what we're going for. I need something good. All right, let's just check out what you can do to a pillager. Oh, wait, hold on. It's amazing. Oh, it actually took him down. It's like a fire shot of love. Kill him with kindness. That should work great, Kissy Missy. All right, stay here. Don't move. I just have to make sure the world isn't getting completely annihilated. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Two hours later. No, 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 no. Bobby, get out of the village. No escape. That's not going well at all. Bobby's destroying the village. I have to hurry. We're going to tame Mommy Long Legs, and we got eight legs to work with. Pigmentation. Pull it out. Snap. Crack. And she has a long neck and a skinny waist. Boom. Pink curl. Noodle hair. Big green eyes. No lipstick. Oh, wait. Just a little bit. Grabbers and kickers. We got mommy long legs in Minecraft. Look, those eyes are kind of creepy. <laughs> but that hair curl and the noodle. And those legs have to be at least nine feet in length. Why is your head turning like that? Oh, that is so creepy. Either way, how you doing, mama? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Wait, oh, whoa. I'm so sorry. Whoa, she's firing something. Goodness, she's firing a web. Oh, you are stuck. And the range. Immaculate. Wait, can she lock down all of these? Lock him down. And whoa, he got yeeted into the air. <laughs> oh my goodness. These guys have been locked in a box of webs. This mama long leg combo might be spectacular. This iron golem is big enough to be boxy boo. We need him to be looking like a jack-in-the-box toy. Add on the winder and the springs to reach out and grab players. And those Springs could definitely reach almost anything. I'm a little afraid to wind him up. He jumps into a jack-in-the-box and explodes on those husks. Here he goes in the air. Bam, an AOE attack that explodes in confetti. Now we can use a cave spider to remake daddy long legs. He's blue and has the same long, stretchy, curly legs as mommy long legs, but he's got a hat and a huge mustache. Now daddy long legs is the most handsome of the two, but these fingers are absurdly long. Daddy Long Legs is gonna fire a web that locks this mob in place and then deals damage along the way. There goes another locking, setting it up for Mommy Long Legs to toss those long legs out and grab a mob. Yikes, this combo could be deadly. Let's remake Killy Willy using this Enderman. Make him appear a bit more furry. Killy Willy has eyes on his head and also on his arms with an extra mouth right on his chest. The very furry, very large 
multi-eyed Killy Willy. And those toes could use some serious grooming. It's not the toes that'll get you though, it's his claws. Charges up and slashes this husk for bleed damage. And there goes a sonic finish. Killy Willy looking feisty. Now we're gonna grab this rabbit and make Bunzo Bunny. Alote, neck adjustment, limbs, torso, flip. He stands. Squeeze this for the lower intestine, and then add this to hold the heart that might not exist. Dirty yellow, green, black, and Bunzo has this green party hat and the overalls to match. Buttons, lift that, and we have got to add his symbols. There we got Bunzo Bunny. Perfect size. Standing upright, lit green overalls. The best piece of it all, those symbols. Kind of curious what you're going to do with those. Now, everybody else seemed to handle a pillager just fine, so let's just give you that. Whoa, oh, whoa, okay. Hold on a second. Wait, and bang, annihilated. Now, I'm kind of concerned that everything might just be cursed, and oh, no, run. Oh. Yep, everything's cursed. Despite your cursed nature, I still need you to take down Poppy. But we can't be ready yet. We're gonna take this wolf, painfully stretch it, and make PJ Pug a pillar. Toss on the basics, grab the nose, make a tongue. Round this out, then we have to tilt his ears down. Darkness. And a mouth for his tongue to hang out of. Rip off. Collapse. Caterpillar parts. Ouch. Rip. Extend. Repeat. 50 feet and a thousand legs. And Kazam! PJ Pug a pillar. 50 feet long. A thousand legs. Don't give me that look with that weird tongue. But we gotta see what kind of additions you got to this army we're building. Oh, oh. Munch? I'm gonna consume you one skin layer at a time. Watch this. Wait! That was new. Hold on a second. Ooh Can PJ Pug a pillar take down an army of pillagers? He is munching left and right. Talk to you later, buddy. I am not quite sure if I want to do this. Uh... Yes! Score! That probably means... No. No! <laughs> we need more help. And I'm running out of time. Now we're making Boogie Bot and the Iron Golem seems most fitting. Start off coloring up. Expand the head. Borrow that. Make the eyes. Facial structure. Now we gotta grab this beefy chest and bring it way down. Conveyor slots. Protective brain casing. Neck. Conveyor belts. Attach. And we better add some grip. And Boogie Bot has these robotic claws instead of hands. Boom, Boogie Bot. Wait, okay. You ended up larger than I was originally expecting. The conveyor belt's so good. And that head. I just hope you can actually see. Look at him move. He rocks like a robot. I just want to see what you could do with those claw hands. What if I just give you that? Can you pick it up with those claw hands? Pick up the grass block. Hey, Boogie Bot. Come here and pick up that grass block. All right, you don't want to listen. You know what? How about 18 pillagers? Wait, what? Oh, did we just have a massive dance party? Look at this. Everybody's dancing. And then, oh, exploding. I got an idea. Baby shark. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> All right, I know it was a dolphin. Still pretty creepy, but I don't really care how creepy it is as long as it can actually take down Poppy. Who ended up going where? Poppy? Wait, no. What are you doing? She's harvesting them. No, she's not harvesting them. It's a slaughterhouse. That's it. I don't care how cursed things get. We gotta figure out a way to stop her right now. I grabbed a fox for candy cat, because look at that. Hey, blue, red. The tongue comes first, and it's always hanging out. Pointy ears, eyes, mouth. Bring out the sniffer. Pop these off. Picking them up. And add paws. Not quite wide enough. Texture the back, and the tail has to be even lumpier. Candy cat. Look at that. Plump it. Hey. And the drops right down the side with the dark blue looks good, too. Now, candy cat, I know that you could be a little mysterious, which makes me a little concerned. Despite that, I want to just try something out, all right? Candy cat, come kill the pillager, please. Hold on. I got an idea. What if I give you one of these? Oh, -ho! you gluttonous maniac. Whoa. She gets insanely strong. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She She's wildly unpredictable. This gluttony might get the better of you, Candy Cat. As long as it gets the better of Poppy first, I really don't mind. But we're not ready yet. We're going with the cat to make cat be. But we also could have got a bee, probably. Limb down. Joint removal. Stretch. Rip that off temporarily. Tiger stripes. I, I mean cat stripes. Lug it back in. Eyes, angled brows, and Cat B has these antenna that just pop up in between her ears. Install flight capabilities. One less gluttonous cat. Oh, so tiny and cute. That could be deceiving. The stripes look amazing. The wings, flight capabilities, the antennas. The innocence is creepy. All right, let me give you something to munch on. How about that? Oh, uh, why does it sound like a fart? <laughs> It doesn't sound like a fart. It actually doesn't, all right, guys? It's just because it's so close. Watch what it's over here. It's a zipper, like a bee stinger. Woo, 
And it leaves some sort of beeswax on the ground. I'm not sure what that is. Let me give it a sniff. Yep, beeswax. Look at that long shot. Yep, that's useful. One more to go. We're bringing the rejects back into play with O in the oven. Just need to deconstruct this slime. Orange oven hinges. Eye sockets. Handle, which kind of acts like eyebrows. Eater hole. A couple input buttons. Burn top. I could see how Owen could be a little bit dangerous. Oh, in the oven. He actually looks like a sweet tiny oven toy. And the burner's on top. Nice. We've got the buttons. Eyeball. But the handle kind of makes him look angry. I can't really see why you were rejected. You look amazing. I don't even really know if you could actually do anything. You're just gonna... Uh, oh, 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 my goodness, that's hot. Fireball attack. Goodness, you're getting roasted like a pizza, buddy. Pepperoni pillager. Actually, if you don't mind, can I have some kebab? Thanks. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. Let's just stick to using that on Poppy. How about that? We're ready to rock. I hope. Oh, no. Poppy slaughtered them all. Huggy. Danny Cat. Dappy. Bonzo. Mommy. Kissy. Boogie Bot. Owen. All right, guys, it's up to you. Take down Poppy. Oh, my word. They're actually going after it. Oh, I forgot. Candy Cat. Come on, get in there. Oh, my gosh. Poppy's almost down to half out, though. Everybody's combining together to fight back. Oh, no. Poppy's turning around, though. Poppy has decided to return the favor. Oh, she's sending down the nukes. Please don't go down. Poppy's almost down at a quarter health already. Oh, Boogie Pot goes down. Oh, no. Wait, no. It's just Candy Cat. Please. Candy Cat. Oh, boy. Wait a second. Huggy Wuggy came back. But Poppy's health is recharging. Huggy Wuggy, please don't go down. Oh. No. All right, Poppy, I concede. You can be a real girl if you want to. Everybody run.